today is event day. We have got, I think, three event sessions left. We have got that guy up in the background, Dan. Um, yeah, and first of all, we're going to start with Log Press. Special shout out to Silverback as well. Their new range is out. It just went live on Saturday. Their new Inferno range. Pretty cool design. Nice colourful turnaround, Tom. Show the guys. Look at that. Sexy. So they've got the hoodie, the t-shirt and the sleeveless t-shirt as well. So go check out Silverback. Let's go. Train. E. B. Mm. That is, sorry, uh, media, which you've got already. What are we doing today, Jordan? We're filming the documentary. The boys are doing the events day, which is, I'm really excited for. So I've been here all week waiting for this one day. There's some good stuff about to go down, I believe. Four weeks out, maybe three and a half actual, like full training weeks out. So if there's any little tweaks that need making, now's the time to do it. If it was any later, we'd just be changing stuff with no time to actually practice it. And then we got the official events announcement. There's a couple of little changes of things that we thought we were gonna be doing that we're not, and things we thought we weren't doing that we are. So just come up to make sure we're all on the same page. Are we still doing two event sessions a week? I class it as like one and a half event sessions. This one today is like the major one. This is a big session, really heavy, a lot of events, a lot of moving stuff. The other one is a little bit stripped back, less stuff, but sort of harder, but less volume. So we've got log for reps. We're gonna look at some grip work, power stairs, loading and yoke and stones. Come on, Tom, get aggressive with it. That's fine. Go on, Tom. Nice, Tom. Three more, come on. Go on, Tom. Good, two more. Easy double now, come on. Last row. Jeez. 
So that is our log done. We had one set of 10, yeah, clean and press, um, with 140. So I believe the weight of the world's strongest man is between, I think it's 150 and 155. So yeah, I don't see anyone doing this type of work and training. You know, we're going to that kind of, there's maybe probably a couple more than us if we had to really push it. I think that's what's good, you know, it's only the first event of today. Yeah, it was good. So again, a little tick on that box. And then we move on to the next one. Log done. It was a fast time for both of us, so that was good. I was just trying to catch my breath, but my system went nice and easy. How you should be training for log for reps, so easy. <sighs> no, he's trying to do that. So the next event today, it's been announced, it's a, it's a grip test, so it's called the Wrecking Ball Hold, I think. So basically it's, you've got a implement and you're holding it in between your legs and holding it for as long as you can. Dan's made a wee thing that hangs in between your legs, it seems pretty simple, so you've just got to hold on for as long as you can. When they used to do it in UK Strongest Man with an anchor, where they used to pull the anchor up. We used to be dangling above this, like, the sea or the water. They used to hold it in between their legs for as long as possible. They'd let it go and then the anchor would drop to the water. So yeah, it's just another grip event. So it's in the heats apparently, so. Yeah, basically we know what the events are at World Strongest Man, which is great. Log for reps is in the heats, grip events in the heats. Then we've got yoke, it was a car walk, but there's a yoke also in the finals. Some loading stones behind the neck press. You've seen us train it for a while, so. Maybe you officially know what it is. Um, next week we're, we're going to talk through all the different events. So every event that we know is at World's Strongest Man. We'll talk it through. We'll give you our thoughts on each one. Yeah, the good thing as well this year is all the events are the same. So every heat has the same event. So there's all deadlifts. There's no squats. It is what it is. My deadlift's going good. So we'll chat about that next week. How do you think of No, you're holding the full weight. <coughs> I'll time it. Uh -huh. Go nine out of ten. I don't want to keep my hands open. Two, one, lift. Ten. Just dig into it, Luke. Twenty. Quality, really good man. <coughs> Squeeze now. Fifty. <coughs> Come on now. Dig in. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. oh. Does he well? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one and five. That's ready. Three, two, one. Sorry. Two, one, lift. That's ten. Good effort, man. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. One minute, Ted. 
Oh, you know, that grip event is that you, you're pulling it and also you're leaning over as well. So, what you can see is we were like just had a night on the booze, man. I was all dizzy. So, I think you're not, you know, you can't stand up straight, so your airways are blocked as well. But I don't think anyone's going to get much of a time with that, especially after the four or five events before it. It's a brutal event, but you just have to, you know, tap into that mind and go to places. But yeah, it's a hard event, but that's what World is, man. I think it's a, it's interesting because it's the first time I think it's been there. Is that right? Yeah, first time it's been there. So it's not like there's no Hercules or a deadlift hold or something. It's actually interesting to train it and not just a boring wee event that, you know, all athletes hate training Hercules and car holds and they're quite boring for people. But when you when you watch this on TV and see this event, it's going to be cool. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Thank you very much for watching and please support Tom Stokeman as a football career. That is the training done in the gym. So as Tom says, did the grip event just there, we did the log for reps. So we're going up to the warehouse where we do the more event style, you know, yoke, loading, we've got power stairs, stones. So I'll go up there, get that finished. And then that is our week <coughs> finished. Now cut the bit where I didn't. Is that right? One fifty, one seventy, one ninety. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some the bumper tens up there, anyways. Yeah, that's sad. We are doing power stairs, but we've only got one. Meta fits in another two uh, duck walk things, so. We've had to take more weights up to get up to about 200, so yeah, this is a long part. This is where it gets sore. So another about 200 kg of junk, 200 kg of weights going up. We'd have to probably do another 400, but that's too much going back and forth, so you can work do with two, you know. Right guys, so we're in the warehouse. Give me a hurry up. Echo, look at that, see? There's even birds that come and watch this we're that popular. Anyway, <laughs> we are here. First event of uh, the warehouse session is loading. As you can see, we've got some weird objects here. So we're gonna load them 12 meters, sandbags over yoke, stone onto the uh, mat. Then we're gonna do sandbag into yoke, then power stairs, and then finish with stones. So yeah, let's do this. Is this the first time you've loaded a stone in training? Now that would be telling, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is it? No, I, I loaded it last week because, you know, I'm smart like that and I use my brain. So, yeah, last week I, I loaded the stone. Stones are easy to load. Um, it's just picking up a 100 kg stone and running with it. Simple. Athlete ready? Three, two, one, play. Nice, fast, fast. Lovely one. Nice. Simon, you need to tell me of him running loose like a power belly. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> His belly looked as fat as mine there, geez. I'm running down the wing, wingy, wingy, wing. It looks stalt to stalt, stalt, stalt to That's 100 kilograms, Tom. <laughs> I don't see the difference between Tom's belly before and after the stone. It just look normal. Good work. Oh, Good work. Good work. Nice move. Make it up on the way back. Come on. Good move. Fast bang. Got 
Right guys, Tommy fact of the day, Usain Bolt is faster than a cheetah, not to 60. Three, two, one, eight. Nice Tommy. Come on. What I think we should do, and I'll change it for next week, is do one set of loading into yoke, yeah. 15 meters of each, yeah. and then one set of yoke for about 10 to 12 meters, yeah, it's a it's little it's bit heavier. Yeah. It's just, a, I want the burn in your legs. That's it, bye. I mean, I've got enough burn in my legs. No. Take that out then, bro. Your height stands there. Hey, my name's Tom, and I really like the Glasgow Celtics. <laughs> oh. Like, there's a guy called Where Hen going here? Henrik Larsson. A good height for you. Yeah, that'd be so. 100 kilo sandbag, 100 kilo Merfit sandbag into, it's going to go up to about 400 kilos on the yoke. So we're going for about 8 metres of the sandbag, 8 to 10 metres, and then 10, 10 to 12 metres in the, the yoke. Um, what does replicate at the World's Strongest Man event? So it's the, the final, one of the events in the final, there's a, a knack or a box, 100 kilo box load into yoke, so that's what we're going for here. And there's also a car walk in the heat, which apparently is very similar to a yoke. So I believe the weights are anywhere between 420 to 440. Still three event sessions out of world so next week we'll go up to maybe 420 and when we do a, a run with 440 yeah just see how it goes so that's the plan so second event in the warehouse training
Carl's got about three sessions left in it. Alistair's done, yeah, it was good. That's our first time using two implements, uh, about 200 ish K. Um, and as you can see, it's a bit dodgy what we're using, but you know, it's better than nothing. It's helping us practice and helping us get the technique. Feels really comfortable, better than last week anyway, so that's, a, that's important, you know, just every week improve on it. And you know, there's no point going balls out on this because you're going to hurt yourself with how the welding and that is on this, you know, it's pretty narrow, but we're just doing what we can, so all good. And now we're on to the finale. The ticklers. Do you feel me? Alright, mate, it was just a joke. Oh, gassy today. <laughs> Please visit www.stoltmanbrothers.com. So, the final event, as always, is the Stones, but apparently, the Stones in the final world's strongest man uh, is going to be a walk in, maybe like three or four meters out, and then it'll decrease once the Stones get heavier. So. Max, max distance might be 5 metres, 4 metres, 3 metres, 2 metres and then basically right next to it on the heavy one so can I see what's best to do we don't have like a stone platform built up we're doing it over the yoke replicate it as best we can so we'll see how it goes I'm excited, not really what a technique that is uh, DTB sleeves uh, company have just sent us up this which is amazing, so they know that I sweat an awful lot. We've tried all types of chalk, all types of liquid chalk. It's all pretty rubbish, to be honest, applying it for the stones and stuff, but this stuff is amazing. So huge thank you to the guys for sending this up. You apply it to your forearms, to your belly, before you put the tacky on. It stops the sweat. We've been doing it, um, Tom and I have both been doing it for the, the last few sessions. It's been very, very good. So I would highly recommend you get your little dinky bottle. Week, so that's good. Yeah, it's just getting that full extension on the stones for this type of thing. Yeah. What's hard to do a normal stone run or that sort of thing? Well, this is far harder. Just because you use a lot more energy up carrying it into the, the platform. I think that's why we're all just doing it because it all makes the stones look so easy. So we've got to make it harder. It's okay, I'm happy.
Nice, Tom. Let's go. Come on then. That's a wrap, bro. When's the dot coming out? Oh, sh <laughs> shut up, you lot. <laughs> Event session finished. Really good. Finished on. Witnessing Tom do 200 like it was a pebble for five reps. And he did a wee cheeky one. It felt hard, too, because it was dusty, so. Well, it looked easy. And then I was very happy. he did 180 for five and a one more shit at the end. Hey! Good ending, so. Yeah, really happy with that. Yoke felt nice, power stairs felt okay. Everything's yeah. the best it's felt, so yeah. that's a bonus, uh, bonus sorry, so. I think that's what we're saying to Dan as well, that's the right. The volume's right. come yeah. down now, you know, because before, you know, it's trial and error, but when we were doing two or three sets of log, we're burst, you know, like, you know, 30 odd reps on a log, trying to come up here. Energy's kind of, no matter how strong you are, you're always going to lose a bit of energy, but now, you know, once the working set of 10 reps is more than enough, so yeah. perfect. And then this is all perfect as well today. So I think it's two sets of moving is fine as well. Uh, two sets of lock, uh, stones that we did, a set of power stairs, everything's fine, you know, so. Okay, so Tom, as Tom says, great session. Happy, happy, happy. We had a, a special visitor um, up at the Stoltman HQ, uh, Daniel Braden, with his mum and dad, Shane and Michelle. Um, I won't go into details of why they came up, but I just wanted to say this session is dedicated to people like Daniel. So, oh, I'm going to get emotional because it's it's tough. Um, so, Daniel, thank you very much for coming up and um, blessing us with your inspiration. It's people like you that are the real strong men in the world. So, hope you're enjoying your merchandise. Um, and yeah, just thank you very much. It means an awful lot you guys popping in to say hello. Anyway, Tom. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy, guys. And please don't stop ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Hello again. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> 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 <laughs>